I've recently observed that right side of my z-axis is bit loose, this is really bad as it messes up pretty much all of my prints as they got skewed to the right side very easily. I looked around the internet and found a second LED screw modification kit but it was really expensive. I've decided to make my own modification since I've already got a lot of spare NEMA 17 motors. LED screw that I've bought is almost exact one as the stock one, the only difference is that it's bit shorter. I bought the coupler since I will be mounting the LED screw on the additional stepper motor. I've also received a LED screw nut, it's required for this mod since it has way different threads than regular nut. I love how easily it slides down the road, you can push it slightly and it will spin on its way down. This is my additional stepper motor, it doesn't require much torque since it will act as a support. Rod was really easy to install since coupler uses only grab screws for fastening. I've connected the additional motor in place of the main one to check if it will work with my electronics. Yeah, it works exactly as the main one. Now I simply need to connect both motors together. This is the top part which holds the x-axis in place. It's designed to work with regular Ender 3 LED screw. This is the lower part, it attaches the stepper motor to the Ender 3 frame. As you can see I currently have a prototype attached. I will have to remove it first. I will attach the motor plate first as it's on the bottom. I didn't have any screw spacers so I've used T-nuts instead. Next I will install the top part. It was really easy to do, I've simply slid it down the rod and secured the nut with screws. If it rotates freely then it's working good. The top part is meant to connect with the x-axis where there are two screws. It's required to remove both of them to install. The motor plate goes directly onto the frame. I've removed both screws along with wheels. I've put both nuts inside the printed part. Now printed part can be installed on the x-axis. I've secured the plastic part along with x-axis with both screws and wheels. Now I can install the motor plate along with stepper motor. It looks pretty good in my opinion. I've had to use T-nuts as spacers once more. It works really well, there is no skewing whatsoever. I've made those simple plastic lamps which will help me level the x-axis. Both of them go behind the bed on top of the bottom as support extrusion. The idea is to manually level the x-axis until both ends rest on the plastic supports. After that leveling is done and you can remove the red parts. You don't have to do it each time you print, you can do it once in 2 weeks or so. And just like that my printer works perfectly now. Thanks for watching everyone, hope you found this video useful. As always huge thanks to my Patreons, I couldn't do it without you guys.